everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is my very first DIY um, related video. Can't wait to show you all what I'll be creating today. Um, as I mentioned in one of my new construction home journey videos, I um, created two wall pieces um, on my own using the DIY shower curtain hack. So these two pieces here, I actually created out of shower curtains um, that I found on Amazon. And then the two wall canvas there, 36 by 48. I purchased these from Hobby Lobby. It was buy one, get one free sale. One thing to know about me, I love to look nice. I like for my home to look nice, but I also like saving money. So today I will be creating two similar to this, but for my master bedroom, I am going with the colors emerald green and gold. I just think it looks very rich and the color combinations are the bomb. Um, so total for both of these, I spent under $60, which is huge savings. Um, if you're into interior design, home design, any of that, you know that wall pieces are expensive, especially the larger they get. And because this is such a big home, I want big art. Um, because if you have too small of a you know piece on the wall, it just, the room will swallow it up and it just doesn't look good. So today I will be creating two pieces for the master bedroom. And just so that so you all can see firsthand um, how much you know this saves, this wall piece here, if you look at it compared to this, was $60 itself. Um, so the savings are, are huge. And then this piece here that I also purchased from at home, I purchased that one from at home. This one here was $90 and look, it's smaller. So you might as well say they cost $30 a piece. Cause like I said, they were, it was just under $60. And so you can save a lot of money. So I really hope that this inspires you all to try it on your own. It's super simple. Um, like I said, what I'll be using today is a shower curtain wall canva and then a staple gun um a lot of people um i've heard you know they try this and they save even more money they go thrifting if you go to a thrift store you can find really big pieces of art and you just cover it up with whatever shower curtain that you would like and then some people are lucky enough to find really great quality shower curtains at thrift stores as well so whatever floats your boat but i'm just here to help you save money and make your house look good but if you haven't already, if you're new here, I'm Nika. Um, my channel is all about DIYs, lifestyle, motherhood, all of that great stuff. And so if you want to hear more from me and you want to save more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. All right, so here is the shower curtain that I ordered off Amazon. And so I'm going to use two separate parts of the shower curtain. Let me see if you all can see it all the way because I don't want the two pieces to be identical. Um, but I will show you all which portions I'll use. Um, you can choose to use a measuring tape um, for this part to measure it out. But I mean, I think I have a good eye and I know, um, you know, how big to cut it so, to make sure that it covers the canvas. So that's what I'll go ahead and do first and then I'll get going. All right, so I laid the shower curtain on the ground um, face up so that I could see which portion of the um, fabric I wanted to use for the first piece. And so I laid the candle on top of it and I want to say I left about two to three inches um, extra because you will be folding it back onto the canvas. So you wanna make sure you have enough fabric and material um, to staple gun. So now I will go ahead and show you all how to do that. Please notice that I am stapling really close together because you don't want it to pucker or anything at all. Um, and also in some of the hacks, hack videos I've seen, depending on your material, um, it's really not an issue for me, but some people choose to iron the fabric first. 
But for me, what I do, like I said, I staple really closely and I pull as I staple. So I'm stretching it to make sure that there's no, you know, I guess sagging pieces, um, but stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to start at the top and I'm just gonna fold it back. Again, I'm gonna pull it just a little bit and I'm gonna start stapling away. This staple gun is pretty uh, loud, <laughs> as you all can hear, but as I finish this first side, I will show you all um, how close I stapled together. So as you all can see, I stay put it pretty close. Now, one thing that's really important is the corners. So what I do and everyone, you know, I've seen people do it different ways. But what I do is so that it's like not bulky and like puckered up at the corner, I fold it like a piece of paper. So make like a triangle, that's the best way I can explain it, and then fold it over. And so that way your corners are like crisp. It's like no extra material just hanging out and then just start stapling. All right, so the last step here would be to cut off the excess uh, fabric. Well, first, before you do that, turn it over and make sure it's what you like. So here's the finished product here. Love it. Um, please stay tuned so you can see what section of the shower curtain I chose for the other one. But since I like it, everything is straight, nothing's crooked, I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the extra fabric so really easy um don't laugh at me that i'm using these small scissors um i told you all we are in a small apartment <laughs> temporarily until this house finishes because we sold our other home and so i couldn't even tell you i have like a um crate for all of my like arts and craft supplies but i don't even know where that stuff is but these will do. All right, so here is the very first, first Canva for my bedroom, looking good. And so I'm about to start on Canva number two. Again, I'm not, I don't want them to be identical whatsoever. So stay tuned to see what I choose.
All right, so here is the finished product. As mentioned, I did not want them to look identical. So I used different sections of the um, shower curtain for each of them. And like I said, um, my master room will be, master bedroom will be emerald green and gold. So we'll probably go with like white bedding, do some accent pillows to really pull out the um, greens and golds. Our new uh, bedroom set is like a light gray, it's very modern. So very looking forward to decorating that space. And then we also have a sitting area. So I ordered a emerald green and gold couch. So um, if you'd like to see how all of this comes together, please stay tuned and subscribe here. Like I said, you can expect all types of um, DIYs and home decor videos. But for the meantime, until the house is complete, be sure to check out my new construction home journey playlist. Thank you all so much for tuning in today.